The works discussed on this video are on temporary exhibit at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine in Manhattan. They will be on view from April 18 to July 29 of 2013. They are the works of Jane Alexander, artist born in 1959 in Johannesburg, South Africa. The exhibit consists of several installations throughout the cathedral space and is called Surveys from the Cape of Good Hope. The installation begins with two series of photographs and photo montages dating from 2003 to 2009. Eleven color images line a section of the south wall in the nave of the church. Some images are of South African landscapes. Others are of Cape Town. The figures that appear are bizarre, grotesque hybrids of human and animal forms. They will materialize as sculptures in other chapels and spaces throughout the church. The images and sculptures on this exhibit are highly sensitive to social and political issues. Alexander, who is white, lived in South Africa during its apartheid regime. In her work, we see the expressions of brutality, prejudice, and forms of discrimination of such dehumanizing political phenomenon. This installation is called Infantry and is located in the chapel of St. Boniface, patron saint of Germany. It's composed of 27 jackal-headed soldiers posing in lockstep formation. On another chapel is Bomb Boys. Bomb Boys is a street gang name using the Afrikaans word for bombs. It was inspired by groups of homeless youths, orphaned by violence or AIDS, who hung out in the Cape Town neighborhood where Miss Alexander lived between the years 1990 and 2000. The artist has described the use she knew as both pitiful and vaguely threatening. The random positioning of the figures and the gestures of wanting and begging convey this and perhaps more. African Adventure is the largest and the most visually suggestive installation. It's in the chapel dedicated to St. Columba, a saint from Ireland. The work is set on a carpet-like rectangle of red-brown soil with over a dozen components. Some of the figures are bomb boys, however, this time some of them are dressed in business suits and stand on ammunition crates. Installed in the north transept of the church, in a space exposed to the elements due to a fire that destroyed its roof in 2001, is security. It consists of two nested cages, one inside the other, made of metal fencing topped by razor wire. The space in between the two cages is paved with hundreds of machetes, sickles, and blood-red industrial rubber gloves. The interior cage holds a single flightless bird with a gull's hooked beak and a raptor's talons, standing on a patch of sown wheat. On the chapel dedicated to Jesus Christ under the name Saint Savior are two works. This one is called Lamb with Stolen Boots. It stands on an ammunition crate and echoes the figure of a crucified Christ. Directly across from it is a tendant, an all-white form attached to the wall made of silk and tulle. It appears to be a being in the process of transfiguration. These works eliminate the theoretical line that sets humans and animals apart. They also transcend the geographical region they reference for the South African conditions that led to the manifestation of this visual vocabulary are echoed in other parts of the globe at different times. Thank you for your attention. For more videos, visit 5dguide.com.